name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. My channel is about my little addiction called cross stitch. Um, if you found me by doing a kitted parade search, um, I hope you enjoy what I have and decide to come back and watch more. I'm actually on vacation the week that you're watching this. I will be back to my normal uh, update videos the, the following Friday, which I believe is the first Friday in can you believe it's almost August? Oh my goodness. So I believe it's the first Friday in August is when I'll be back with my regular update video. I just got done recording my whip parade. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had 33 projects on the go, you know. Oh my, I told you it was a little addiction, right? I was being sarcastic. And I have probably almost 30 here. Yeah, I hope you guys have the same issue as I do. I just love them all. I want to stitch it all. Anyways, so let me put a disclaimer right here and right now. Um, some of these are um, out of print projects or kitted projects. They're very sought out. No, I am not giving any of them away. Even after I'm done stitching them, I am not giving them away. All right. Just gonna put that out there right now because I know a lot of you are gonna say, oh, can I have that? I'm gonna, no, you're not gonna have them, sorry. Um, so let's start. I've got so many projects that I ran out of pretty pretty um, project bags. You know, fabric ones that I've gone to the plastic bags. So this first one, this is actually a freebie. Um, Little House Needleworks. It's a freebie on Little House Needleworks. Um, this is called I Am a Daughter. This is called I Am, you know, I Am a Daughter. I have pulled out, um, so I pulled some of the called for, and then I pulled a couple, um, you know, pulled out of my stash. So I do have the rain color or rain showers that's called for and the bamboo that's called for. And then for Peapod, I picked this, um, let's see, this one is a limited edition general arts. And then for Hazelnut, I picked out uh, Queen Bee for the crown. The fabric is a Wichelt um, 28 count lavender sunset. Isn't this pretty? It is not gonna take all this. This is just, it's just gonna take a small corner of it, but isn't that fabric pretty? And this doesn't feel like a Wichelt. This is a much softer Wichelt. Hmm, I just realized that. So, and all of these projects I wanna start like now, but I've gotta make myself finish at least a couple of them of my kitted projects. I have a bunch of them that are um, close to done that I really should get done. And I forgot to let you know that there's going to be a lot of crinkling and zipping with this video. All right. So the next one is a My Big Toe. My Big Toe is one of the um, designers that are my favorite. I have um, Polygon, um, Mirabilia, My Big Toe. I would say those are my three biggest um, that I like. So this one is um, God Sustains by My Big Toe. I am changing the colors. The colors are a little uh, muted for me. Um, I am going to use Battleship. Um, oh, Color of Cotton Battleship for Weeks Dye Works Battleship. And I have picked out um, Cypress Mulch. Uh, my guess is for Grapevine. And this is Color and Cotton. Um, Sweet Basil for, I'm not sure what it's for. And then I have Cupid for Brick. So these are my colors that I have picked out instead of 
those muted colors. The fabric I pulled out is a Artemis, a 32 count linen by B Stitch Me. That's a blue. Let me fold it. Maybe you can see it better. Well, that color, it's darker than what you guys are seeing it. Uh, let's see. Well, it's bluer than what you guys are seeing. So I would love to get that started right now. All right, next is a chart that I am borrowing from my friend Caroline. This is uh, Seasons in Time. So this is my favorite verse. This is, I guess, what I'd call my life verse, if that's what you want to call it. Um, it's Ecclesiastes 3.1, to everything there is a time and season. There are, There is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. So that's my favorite verse. So I've got to, um, sorry, watching Humminbird fight. Um, so I've got to stitch this and get that back to her. So, that back on there to remind me. My fabric is 32 count vintage maritime white. I don't know who um, is rattling around who it is because it's a familiar dyer, but I can't think of who the dyer is off the top of my head. So it's just a very pretty neutral. And uh, oh, I have to get a lot of these floss yet. I've only got, I've only got two of them. They're on my list of stuff to get next time I'm at the store. All right, so. Sorry. All right, so this is one of those charts that um, the statement is no, no, you're not getting it. Hands on design, the philanthropic pumpkin. It comes with the, all the things you need to do it. This was, um, she had this on sale to support the, um, um, it's bouncing around. Paralympics, maybe? So her son's on the tennis team. So this is on my, I really want to get started and do is, isn't that just so cute? Let me pull that aside so you can see better. Isn't that just too cute? So that's on my, I really want to do. And you'll notice that I have a bunch of things that are, you know, pre-kitted that I have, you know, in my pile. Next is another little house needleworks. This is ABC Sampler. And I believe it came with all the called for floss. There's the called for floss with some DMC. And I am doing this on Old Linen by Picture, oh, Doubloon by Picture This Plus, 28 count. Isn't that pretty? No, and no, that's not gonna take the whole um, quarter yard. So that is the next of my I really wanna do. Mirabilia, one of my favorite designers. Um, actually, this is Nora Corbett. Um, so uh, Nora Corbett has two lines on her design company. There is Nora Corbett Designs and then there's Mirabilia. I believe Nora Corbett's, uh, the ones named Nora Corbett are a bit smaller. Is that correct? And then the Mirabilia's are on the bigger side. 
So this is Rain Queen by Mirabel, or, uh, Nora Corbett. When I stitch it, I'm gonna be taking her wings off because I'm not a fairy. Um, you know, I'm not into the fairies. So I have most of the called for floss. They're all DMCs. I have the, um, the Karen Water Lilies. And I actually, I have the bead pack that I have to put in it. But I thought I would do it on 32 count autumn by under the sea fabrics. Um, that's not bad there. So that's the fabric. And she will not take that whole thing. So that's on my, oh, I really want to start now list. Okay, so I kitted this up. I had plans on doing this years ago when I first started the EGA. Oh, no, this isn't the one I thought it was. All right, this has been kitted for quite a while. This is Heirloom Embroidery Snow Queen. Let me get it close so you can see. It's white work. Uh, and then there's dinky dyes and then there's is this a DMC? I'm not sure what size. It's a couple of them. And it also has some beads. I forgot all about having this one. And this is 32 count Belfast cream linen. Hmm. Really ought to start that. It's Actually, there's two sets of beads, or two packages of beads. I really did forget that I had that one kitted up. Put that there, so maybe I'll start that. Just so that I can say that I have a white work started. All right, so I have gotten so that I really like um, the the berries, the uh, needle berries. So I've got, I think I've got a couple kitted up. This is Heartstring Samplories. I plan on doing just this needle berry, that one right there. I have, this is uh, one of those fabrics that I got at um, the EGA fabric sale. It's a 30, 28 or a 32 count off-white linen and I have substituted a couple of colors for stuff that I don't have um, these are the colors that I'm using so those are the colors I might change I'm using Barn Door for Tennessee Red Clay. I don't know, we'll have to see what that looks like, where it's placed on the, um, on the berry. I may change it or go look for the Tennessee Red Clay. So that is my next one. Cute little project back that I got as a Christmas present. Look at that. A little candy on there. All right, this is a chart or a kit. I'm not sure where I got it from. Um, but I like, you know, you can tell it's very 80s, 90s. Let me see if there's a date on it. Oh, it's 2005. No. This is a Bucilla kit uh, by Carla Dorchner called Apple Tree. And you know, it comes with the usual kit, hard Ada, and then there's all the floss that comes with it. So I really like that. It says, 
There is an angel in my garden who watches over me. I know she smiles as I talk to God under the apple tree. I like that. Maybe I'll start that one. <laughs> like I like I really need to start anything. All right. So this next piece is a companion piece that I had finished um, earlier this year. So I have finished the only the dull women one. Now I'm gonna do um, too much housework. Can you see it there? Too much housework uh, makes you croak. Yeah, can make you croak. So I thought I would, instead of using the blue like they have, I have this uh, little piece of magenta lugana. Um, I may end up having to change the color of her skirt because uh, the skirt is like an orangey color. But there's, that's very true right there. That's the linen that I plan on using. And then I have, I have a mix of DMC. I have a mix of the called for um, Weeks Dye Work and DMC and then some, I think maybe one of the sampler threads. So that one, I love that one too. I really want to start that one. But I really need to finish at least a couple of my, I know I, I've said that like three times now. I know, I'm sorry. All right, this is another one of those kits that I am, you know, prefacing and saying, no, no way, uh-uh, no one's getting us. So once I pull it out of the package, most of you are going to go, oh. I have one of the Coming to America by Brenda Gervais kits. I think I got the very last one that was at Three Stitches in Spring. The kit comes with the floss. There's two packages of floss, the DMC and the Overdyes. My fabric is 32 count Edinburgh Country Mocha, vintage Country Mocha. And then this is, this is the chart. And it comes with a needle minder. And then there's a, a corner gauge. So that's one of those, one of those other ones that I really want to start. So, where's that? Sorry, I'm putting it back in the box so I don't lose anything. Because I would lose my head if it's not attached. Alright. Alright. So... This is um, a kit that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was in the clearance section. Originally for $35, I got it for $8.74. This is called Chapel of Hope. And it comes with the DMC and the floss. There may even be a needle in there. Oh, yep, there's a needle in there. So it, isn't that very pretty? That reminds me of back in Pennsylvania. If you didn't know, I'm from Pennsylvania originally. But I moved to warmer Texas. I'd rather deal with 105 temperatures than the, the, than the snow and the, you know, below freezing temperatures. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. All right, the next one is another berry. This is the Bristol Berries number one. I have pulled out licorice red for my red. And this is a classic color work. And then my fabric is um, a cream colored 28 or 32 count. And I plan on doing both of those berries on. Aren't, isn't that pretty? It's just too pretty. Next is a 
Uh, this is Needle Bling Designs. This is um, Come As You Are and Sit A While. That's what the design looks like. I have pulled out um, Color and Cotton Prussian Blue for my color. And I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping it'll show up on this blue. It's called Alchemy. Um, it's a 14 count by Picture This Plus. I'm hoping it'll, sh I think it'll show up okay on there. But in that, I really, that ought, that should be a quick one too that I really should start and get done. All right, here's another My Big Toe. This, I'm not a chicken fan, but this one just, I just giggle every time I see it. This is My Big Toe. It's called Chicken Crazy. And it's uh, just one chicken short of crazy. Every time I see this, I think of my friend Tina. Not that she's one chicken short of crazy, but she's, she's a chicken fan. Although sometimes I think you are one chicken short of crazy. But I love you anyways. I think we're all one chicken short of crazy at times, aren't we? Anyways, so that's... And because it reminds me of Tina, I thought I would do it on a pink, because pink's her favorite. This is 28 Count Crystal Arbor by Picture This Plus. You see, yeah, you can see the, the um, opulescent in that. Isn't that pretty? And then I pulled from my stash. Um, I am not using all of the called for. I'm using some of the called for. So it looks like most of them are just pulled to um, from my stash. I'm using bamboo for grits. Um, chopped chives for chickpea. Cinnamon twist for roasted figs, uh, maple syrup for molasses, baking tin for pelican, and red fox for red rocks. And then these are the only three that were called for that I happen to have. So that's on my, I really want to start soon. And it's a tiny thing. It's only 55 by 83. So, and you know, for me, that's a tiny little pattern. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, this is one of those that I really, really, really want to start, but I, I am trying to control myself and not start it. So this is Bella Filipina, um, Reina de los Flores. Isn't she pretty? And she comes with a bead pack, but it's in with my other beads. So instead of having a yellow pinkish background, I thought it'd be prettier on this bluish pinkish background. What do you guys think? Do you think that'll work on there? Uh, the fabric is a hand dyed by Rolanda. It is a 28 count Lugana. Isn't that pretty? The bottom. And she has a lot of floss. This is the DMCs. I'm still missing maybe three or four. So she's on my, I really, really, really want to do her list. Okay. Next is, this was a present from my friend Beth. This was a kit. Uh, this is Santa's Hat of Holly. Um, this is a Bent Creek. As you can see, it comes with the fabric the um, 
glosses and it has a button. Let's see if I, there you go. Um, I was just wondering what the size is. Let me see if I can see. I don't think it's all that big. Well, it's definitely not as big as Mirabilia's. So that's another one that I really should start soon. And then here's another one that's out of print. Um, the answer is no. This is a Birds, Birds of the Feather Sally Spencer sampler. This was a, I won this off of uh, my friend Jennifer, um, calculated stitcher here on YouTube. She lives the other side of San Antonio from me. So we've met a couple of times or once. I've talked to her a lot. She used to make project bags. Oh, they're my favorite. Not only were they, um, she very quick at getting them out, but they're very nicely made, but she doesn't do that anymore, which is okay. I can share my love with other people or, you know, even better make my own, like I really should. Anyways, so this is Sally Spencer. She is not a big project. She's only 156 by 156. Yeah, for me, that's not big. So, I thought of doing her on 32 count old gold. This is um, fiber on a whim. That's pretty. I don't think I've stitched on fiber on a whim before. That's very pretty. And there are not a lot of colors to her. Um, it looks like I have pulled the DMC versions. I've got three of them. And oops, I've got three of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's so I have half of the floss. Oh, this is a Biscornu by um, Heartstring Samplery. This is called Tudor Rose Biscornu. And if you don't know, Biscornu is just a pin cushion that, you know, in this shape. So I have pulled from my stash for most of the flosses. The fabric is 32 count cream Belfast linen. And I have replaced I have bamboo for grits, uh, licorice red for baked apple, blushing beauty for colonial rose, beachy, this is a be stitch me silk, so soft, um, beachy for onion skins, Oscar for pine needles. And then grasshopper and honeysuckle must be called for. So that's <clears throat> that's biscornu. That will be my second biscornu that I'll make. So I have one as a whip right now. All right. So this is the uh, project that I had thought earlier. Uh, when I pulled out the white work, um, this is the project that I was actually thinking it was. This is an EJ, EGA um, project. It's uh, uh, pineapple, passionate pineapple. And it shows you how to, um, I have all the instructions on how to do that. <clears throat> It came as a kit, so I have the linens, there's two pieces to it, and then the, um, is this DMC? Yeah, this is the DMC. And it also comes with needles and then the little um, decoration that goes on it. So it 
looks like we have maybe eight more to go. All right. I absolutely love this one. I don't know why I haven't started it yet. Um, so this is Long May She Wave by Stitching with the Housewives. Isn't that just too cute? I have the floss pack that came with the pattern. And then it also came with the Witchelt uh, 14 count um, Black Ada, which I may or may not stitch it on. I don't know. But that's how I have it kitted up at the moment. <clears throat> Next is um, Poppy's Creation, Proud to be an American. I found this um, I guess I got this at three stitches. So it comes with the fabric and then there's the button and then there's the floss. You can see the blue of the floss right there and the red. So that's all kitted up, ready to go. That one should be a quick one too. Um, I was just looking to see if there's a size on it. 69 by 69, so that's, you know, that's a quick one. All right. My next out of print chart that I plan on stitching. I am I am um, conflicted as to how to change this chart. So, Mirabilia, this is Lady of the Flag. I don't like the gold of her dress. Uh, on Facebook, there is um, there is a Lady of the Flag group Facebook group they show their conversions there's all sorts of different colors um, teal silver purple green um, I had originally thought of changing her converting her to purples but then I saw the teal conversion and I really like the teal so you know I'm in a conflict. Anyways, so this is, I think this is, um, oh, this is Platinum Weeks Dye Works. Oh, it's, it's gray. It's not, it's really gray. That is not the color. We actually have clouds here, so my color is not the greatest. Anyways, so, I'm not sure if she's going to be purple or if she's going to be teal. I guess we'll see when I actually pull it out and start her. All right. Okay, we're down to the last pile here. So this is one of those um, that I really, really, really want to start now. But because she's a big girl, I really need to get at least one of my Mirabilias completed. This is another uh, Bella Filipina. This is Bellatrix. Isn't <laughs> she so pretty? So I got the full kit. Uh, I believe I got this off of Be Stitched Me. She's got lots of beads, and you can see there's Crinix. Um, and some other specialty floss. My fabric is a hand dyed by, mm, I thought this was a hand dyed by Rolanda, but that's not her tag. Anyways, this is the fabric. 28 count Leonardo. That's the tag. This is really pretty fabric. Feels like a Lugana. That's the full piece. So 
So, so I'm making myself wait um, and get one of my um, mirabilia is done. But then I may decide now and just go ahead and start her anyways. All right, I believe this is another um, kit that I bought at Hobby Lobby on sale. So this also reminds me of Pennsylvania. This says Design, Design Works Tractor. Isn't that pretty? And it's green. Some people, you know, some people are very picky about the color of their tractors. <coughs> Mom. Um, so there's your green tractor and the deer. And it comes with the uh, 14 count white Ada and then the floss. All right. This is my last cross stitch piece. I do have two kitted um, needle point kits, you know, two kitted needle point charts that I purchased from the EGA that I have not started. Um, I really ought to just buck up and start at least one of them, make myself do it. Just, you know, I'm sure I can, you know, I'm just like kind of got the, I don't know if I can do it or not. Anyway, so this is the last cross stitch piece. This is actually a hand-me-down from a former coworker. Um, she was um, getting rid of a lot of her cross stitch pieces because I think she was going down to a smaller house moving. So this is Paula Vaughn, Friendship Quilts. I guess she technically can call it a whip, but I, I have gone through and got the floss for it. Uh, this looks like a 14 count off-white Ada, cream Ada. That is the start so far. And then, you know, Polygon's got lots of DMCs. So, so that is slash kitted, slash whip, slash, you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, so next are my two needlepoint <gasps> kits. Um, this one is uh, Cleopatra's Heart. And I have the canvas for it. And then I have all the fibers for it. So I really ought to just buck up and try it and get it done. Because it's not that big. Just a matter of trying to do something other than cross stitch. Nope. We'll see. And then this last one, this needlepoint kit, really intimidates me. But I really need to, um, I even made a special bag for it because it's so big. Uh, so, let me get it out. And the bag's still too small. So this is the size of the canvas. Here's my floss, the fibers, and it has some beads. And this is called, oh, there's more. There's more fibers. And I didn't realize she gave us needles. This is called Ambrosia Honey. And let's see if I can see part four. Ambrosia Honey, that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done. 
So I am really intimidated by that one. It's very pretty, you know, it's got the purples that I love and it, you know, it's really cute. But I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. So that is all of my kitted projects. I hope I have enabled you and you saw something that you really like. Um, there's a lot of projects here that I really want to get started, but you know, I wish I had all the time in the world and all I could do is stitch, but unfortunately you got to work, got to clean, got to, you know, grocery shop, got to do all sorts of stuff. Got housework outside or, you know, yard work outside. So I'm sure y'all know my feeling. So I hope y'all have a good week. Um, I've enjoyed pulling these out. There's things here that I forgot that I had um, and things that I, you know, really, really, really want to start, but I'm trying very, very hard not to start yet. So I will see you all next week for a regular episode of, um, you know, catch up video with everything that I've um, stitched in two, three weeks. And I may ask, I may possibly um, stop at some cross stitch stores along the way. I know there's two of them not far from where we're going in Virginia. So surprise, hubby, we're gonna stop at a cross stitch store. Um, and maybe if we find something else along the way, it may stop just to see what they have so I can say that I've been to other cross stitch stores. So I hope you all have a good week and I will see you all next week for a regular video. Bye guys.